To solve this equation, the first thing we want to do is get rid of the outermost square root sign. To do that, we'll square the left side, which will cancel out the outermost square root. And we have to do the same on the right side so that we could get rid of the square root on the outside. Once we, once we get rid of the outermost square root signs, we end up with this equation. And then let's go ahead and subtract 1 from the left and the right side so that we would have just that square root of x plus root 6x minus 5 on the left side, leaving us with this. Once again, to get rid of that square root sign on the left side, the outermost one, we're going to square that. If I square the left side, I have to square the right side also. What's important is that I can't just square this or square the 1. Rather, I have to go ahead and put parentheses around 1 plus root x and then square it, meaning we need to square the entire right side. First, let's go ahead and cancel off the square and the square root sign, leaving us with x plus root 6x minus 5. On the right side, I rewrote this as 1 plus root x times 1 plus root x leaving the left side exactly the way it is. On the right side, let's go ahead and multiply. Where we multiply 1 times 1, we get 1. 1 times root x will give us the root x. And then root x times 1 gives us the root x. And then lastly, if we do root x times root x, we end up with x. As you can see, we have x here on the left side of the equal sign and another x, so we'll go ahead and subtract or cancel them off, leaving us with square root of 6x minus 5 on the left, and then 1 plus root x plus root x, which is 2 root x. Again, we're going to repeat what we did before to get rid of that square root sign. We're going to square the left side of the equal sign, and notice that once again, we're going to square the entire right side of the equal sign, where the square sign and the square root sign will cancel out, leaving us with that 6x minus 5 on the left side. The right side, I again, rewrote it out as 1 plus 2 root x times 1 plus 2 root x. Again, leaving the 6x minus 5 on the left side, let's go ahead and multiply, or what we call FOIL, where 1 times 1, gives us the 1. 1 times 2 root x gives us the 2 root x. 2 root x times 1 gives us the 2 root x. And then lastly, 2 root x times 2 root x will give, the, give us the 4 from the 2 times 2, and the x from the root x times root x. From here, let's go ahead and subtract 1 and subtract 4x so that we would have just the ones with the root x on the right side of the equal sign, leaving us with 2x minus 6 equals 4 root x. To get rid of that last square root sign, we're going to square left on the right side once again. However, so that we don't get a big number, let's go ahead and reduce this equation. Notice that I could divide each and everything by 2. So if I divide 2x by 2, we'll get an x. Divide the 6 by 2, we'll get a 3. And divide the 4 by 2, we'll get 2. Now let's go ahead and square all of left side and all of right side. <clears throat> if I multiply x minus 3 squared, or x minus 3 times x minus 3, we're going to get x squared minus 6x plus 9. And if I square the right side, we end up with 4x. Now that we don't have any more square roots and we have a quadratic equation, we want to make the right side equal 0. So let's go ahead and get rid of that 4x by subtracting from the left and the right side of the equal sign, where we end up with x squared minus 10x plus 9. To finish it up, we're going to FOIL this, sorry, we're going to factor this, where it's going to be 
x minus 9 times x minus 1 equals 0, leaving us with the answer of x equals 9 or x equals 1. However, this is the important part for this question. When we have this equation right here and square both the left and the right side, notice that we have a x outside the square root, whereas we have a x inside the square root. When you have a situation like this, there may be an extraneous solution, meaning a solution that does not work. So what we have to do is we have to take the 9 and the 1, plug it back into this equation to make sure it works. Let's try the 9. If we take the 9, plug it into the x here and the x here, right here, and also right here, and simplify, we get a 6 on the left, 6 on the right, which are equal to each other. Therefore, x equals 9 is going to be one of our solutions, or it may be the only one. Next, it's time to try the 1. If we take the 1, plug it into that equation here, we end up with 1 minus 3 equals 2 times square root of 1, where we end up with negative 2 on the left, however, a positive 2 on the right, which are not equal to each other. x equals 1, we're going to eliminate it as part of our solution, and it's called an extraneous solution, which means that our final answer to this equation will only be x equals 9.